smoke, and MDLL is very much wary of it. Defensive positions now for BBL as Aslan is able to find the first kill of his team. Aslan still trying to hold off the rotations. Red Redgar, Shadows both chiming in. They're getting the better of the Turks right now, and they're not liking it. MDLL looking to hold on. That's the beautiful headshot, but he won't be able to survive for long. Para is all that is left and is far away from the objective. Spike will be defused and Mech get first blood. Few spectres, whatnot. I think that investing those is not too shabby and well, one falls. Yeah, so far not so great for BBL. This investment might come back to bite them. Recovery could be slow, therefore crucial they're able to find some damage. At least Shados does not care. Walks past his own little war and Aslan will be the only player to be finding a kill here for BBL. Site control is permitted. Mech allowing them to cross in. So they're able to approach from behind and take them both down. Mech 2-0 and, oh, and BBL's force goes to waste. Start up here for BBL. It hasn't been very explosive, oh. as I do see that. The cross comes through, Kushin ends up falling. So BBL's attempt to gain anything out of this has just been quashed. Nat, on the site fairly low, the pot shots are being thrown up against the wall, but still looking to trade equally. Not going to work out if you're out of this advantage. Mech getting most of the kills. BBL are just stuck on the outside, looking in, unable to do a thing. Turco, maybe the final attempt to get themselves back into it trying to isolate one of these corners but they're just walking in to the arms of Nats and he's just hugging them suffocate them a very tight hug Aslan nothing he can do taking down Mech an explosive 4 and 0 start right there perfect rotations and even for the entries they haven't really been able to give him too much of a good job Aslan here good little spray down but it seems there is some return coming the way of BBL Hello? But at the end of the day, there's nothing much you can do here. I mean, they're just walking into the lion's den and they're getting their heads ripped apart. MDLL able to find just some damage, but his, uh, his life won't be very long lived here. Cutie wanted a weapon so bad, he was willing to sprint as fast as he could straight towards it. And MDL, I mean, God, he's got good shots, especially when you give him a pistol in the hand. 1v2 opportunity. Hello, X. He's got a weapon now. No way. Oh, he knows. This was an eco. No way they win round Ooh. like this. MDLL, what a way to get your team on the board. It was a sheriff buy to make it to happen. Just a simple spike plant. Rolling Thunder, though, just indicates that Mech may want to go for it directly after that. Rolling Thunder together with the Orbital Strike, but it captures absolutely no one. Kushina onto the site, looking to delay the spike plant, but still, it may be able to go just in the nick of time. Incendiary looking to damage up Kushina even further. Down to three on three. Nats will be able to win out his own trade, but it's still a trade. Nats closing in. MDLL on top. I don't think how they have a clue. Sky Smoke concealing his position. Kushin on the other side. It's a beautiful crossfire, but MDLL is out of the fight. Now they've isolated them. They're getting them one by one, so Mech able to recover and take the retake. <laughs> Pushed by Chronicle, just presses Z in Mouse 1 and gets it done. Looks to gain more, but in the midst of the Sky Smoke, unable to find movement. Turco, Resurrection, bring in the fifth player. MDLL unable to hold the rotations, but the site is theirs. Spike is going down, and we're looking at a 4v4. And that's close to contesting. Damage upon, but it looks like Emek aren't slowing down at all. They're looking at double blast pack in, and there's three players hiding out in tower. You might not have the weapons, but you might have the strength in numbers. Kushina, Turco, getting it done. No way they get another pistol win. Closing in on them. Shados wants a piece of this pie, but he's scared for his life. On the sideline, Nats gets it done, but Shados is the next play in contention. Fault line stunned. They need to start pressing that spike or us. BBL are not going to peek this. Now they will. Getting the information, knowing they're not committing to it. Tur turnaround comes through. Turco is able to get himself oh on top. No. Shados interrupted, but still gets the kill. But it's not good enough to get the defuse, which means BBL get another pistol win. Off the shot onto the upper side, looking to delay. They already find themselves onto the side. They're able to punish, though. BBL getting the better of them. Power reigns supreme above. And now they sent far in full control. And there's only two for Mech to do anything about this. Information of what they already kind of know with that tower control. Ooh. Ooh. Does he know Defo's there? No, he doesn't. Not quite. Oh. Barely runs out of way. He runs away. Defo is able to get the read on it. Nats in the middle of an aftershock. Still able to find a kill. And now they're on top of numbers. Spike doesn't even get the chance to go down yet. Mark. Mech. More. <laughs> you sound like Zesh there, mate. <laughs> yeah, I sound like Zesh there. But there we go. Nats. Shut down. And BBL may be able to find a piece back in. Showstopper gets it down. And aim DLL in a position where it's fathomable. Perhaps doable.
has to find where the last two players are because his position very much telegraphed and mech not falling for this trick not walking out into the open not allowing mdll to find any unnecessary damage spike not committed to. Closing up the gap isn't Ooh. clever enough. Maybe for the first, but Redcar is there to have his teammates back and Mech delay. Looking to buy time. Aslan, good to order force kill. Defo, where do those paint shells land? And now they've equalized things, but they need to move in quickly. They're starting that on time. MPLL switches up the position, still traded back. Good crossfire there with Turco, but still Mech trailing behind. Desperately need a kill. Desperately need a trade to go their way. And Hatton spotted out the upper side of power. Ends up falling. It's down to Redgar. And I'm afraid it may be all too late. Sidestepping the rolling thunder, incapable of doing so. It's the overdrive to do it. Kushino stamping upon him. And Mech now, so much is doable. Aslan, they're waiting. Quick little head will get shut down. It's only a trade. Paint Shell's looking to move back here, but unable to retreat in time. Mech with an advantage. Kushina caught out into the open, and the A site is free. Sky Smokes will do the job to cover their tracks, but it's a site that they needed, and they got it. One Paint Shell's there for Defo, and he didn't even need to get the kill. It was enough to suppress them, move them back off of ramp. But they were gifted with a kill as well, and it's those tiny little micro plays. I love speaking about utility, especially in Valorant, because they are the difference maker. And speaking of difference maker, Turco tried, AMDLL joins, and it's all up to AMDLL again. How many times have we seen this one, X? No way, no way. Um, I'm, I'm calling it AMDLL. What can you do? Oh, two very elevated positions, both left and right of him. So difficult to try and figure out, but yeah, by the use of a Sky Smoke instead of a Cloudburst. This, this is beautiful. Shados, wall up coming out. I love this. Okay. Mech, finding the better of a player, but can they get more out of this? Quickly trade a Kushina in a tough spot. Able to stun one, but there's more to follow. Has to find cover. Doesn't care about cover. He wants to shoot some heads. Overwhelmed by the angles, though. Nats gets it done. So Mech with the advantage. More players. But who would have thought BBL had the better weapons? Losing this is not great for them. Managing to hide away from the incendiary orbit of strike coming through. Looking to get a kill before the fall comes in. Mech on the site. Full control for them. Aim DLL. Can you make the magic happen? Launching smoke. One sky smoke available. Blocks off drop and now it's Nats and Shados one in sight one with the main entry looking to find all corners looking to check them all but realizes runs out of time has to figure it out sooner than later Nats finds the perfect opportunity to ping swing by him Start from that info. Aim DLL in the Sky Smoke, though. A very aggressive maneuver. Still gets it done. That's what you need, but quickly traded. He would have loved to get in the second one there. Flash onto the site. Two players holding it. It's a crossfire. There's nothing that can be done about it. Aslan joins the fray. Defo quickly shut down. It's a slaughterhouse. And BBL finally get it done. Get around on the defense. Like two players getting out of it. No problem whatsoever. But there's only a few coming in from oh, CT. And that is Aslan getting it done. A triple for him. And it's only two kills that are actually relevant, relevant in this attack. Retake is on and BBL are feeling themselves right now. Can they do it? The timing for Defo. Turco has got his teammates back. That's what you love to see. Great coordination from the BBL side. Can they carry it on? Shados revealing the position. Again, double-sided peak. A chronicle. Well, that remains. And I'm afraid too far out of his depth. Gets one. Has a little bit of strike, though. Oh. BBL know it, though. Oh, they've got to chase him. They've no, got to go. Not. They touch it. All but a strike comes in. Para wants to defuse it halfway, but isn't able to do it. The lowest health player ends up falling. Chronicle has got a massive chance here. Aslan gets it done, but is there enough to get the defuse? I'm not quite sure. <gasps> oh Zero my god. Point zero eight seconds. Actually, that is also uh, figured out. Maybe we can show that on later, but man, this, this, this is. This was snail-bitingly close. Now under pressure, BBL know they cannot falter. No more mistakes and have to go undefeated for six rounds. Very determined. First few kills going their way. Mech, though, not going to make this easy. Finally, they went to the B site and have found the cross forwards as well. Spike will be going down, but there's plenty of utility for BBL to fight this with. Love that cage as well. Blocks him as he gets the player down. Aslan has been on a heater. He could be the difference maker. Oh, I was so positive Redco was spotted there, but... Somehow still alive, looking for the head here. Redgar, he's so quick. Rolling Thunder coming through. Aftershock, is it a delay enough? Little shots coming through, delayed. Nats, 
Can another clutch make it happen? Sagewall breaks, showing his position. Not a lineup this time around. Two different positions. Turco fires ahead and be making those statements. And speaking of, we've seen this one before. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we've also seen MDLL shoot people down before. Oh. Gets two. Very accurate stuff from him. Q Chanel on sight. No problem whatsoever. This is this is easy, they say. Oh, Red Guy is going in for it though. MDLL on the sideline will make it a little bit more tricky, Nats. Oh, they're fighting damage. And there's a lot of vandals spread out left and right, so Nats could even go for a juicier weapon. But crucially enough, spike by the feet of Aim DLL. Oh, Nats. Oh, he slipped by. He has slipped by. Oh, it's all down to timing! Oh, hello. Oh, pick it up. That's a spike, that's a vandal, and that's 40 seconds to work oh, with. He knows the approximate direction of his opposition. Fault line to delay, and Poro seizes the oppor opportunity to reposition. No. Doesn't catch Nats off guard. Mech make it happen. 1 0 on the board, taking down BBL's map pick. You said if they could get it done here. Seems to come back on. Now, on the site, they're looking to hold it, but Nats is going for a peekaboo. There you go. First kill going his way. May want to go in for more, and he might be able to get it, Nats. That's a good way to start off this map. Shados wanting to chime in on that fray. Turco is the first one to get a kill for BBL, but I'm afraid it is all but very, very late. They know exactly where MDLL is, and they can just play with time because Spike is well within their grasp. How many times have we seen him in a clutch situation? This man has probably gone through the rhythm of a clutch situation. 1vx time and time again. He's good. He's real good with the pistol. That did not display. Look to find some damage. I'm glad that BBL have actually been able to get this work now with a buy round. We'll be happy about it. And a little drops though, and that's a vandal. Start to put caution to the wind because this is not over yet. I'm loving this for Mac. Do as much damage as you can. Coming to this third round here. They're able to snag it last map right out of the hands of BBL. Do they do it again? Is Defo and Shados a good duo to do it? Well, they're running out of time for sure, so they need to start acting quickly. Cloudburst concealing at least one of the corners, but the flash it is accurate. It's on point and it buys a time. Turco is revealed as soon as the smoke is it here. And it's Shados. Yeah, we'll get spotted. Had the bird in the hand and. Yeah, all that he can do is just fall back. BBL don't want to risk losing any more weapons. Vandal might be falling in his hands unless he falls victim to the spike explosion, which he does. BBL, the pacing is a bit slower. Not even going for the elbow take, just leaving a trademark there instead. Defo, an aggressive push by there and doesn't pay his dividends. Shados, though, has them all revealed and is able to shoot down on them. Mech explosively taking this one home. As soon as BBL get a dub, they're able to scramble theirs right back up. Chronicle needs to go for scouting here. Toxic screen. He goes past it. That's one. Simply done. Weaves in and out of battle perfectly. Survives. Nats even sprays down across the other of the toxic screen. And Nats will be able to reposition for more. Will be able to help out Chronicle perhaps here. But Chronicle doesn't need help. Viper Spit enabled. But when there are two left, your hopes are pretty much dwindled down to the bare minimum. Shados unable to find a kill. MDLL crucially staying alive, but not too long. And together with his death, the Viper's Pit will also have left. to fall. Ara, with barely any health, will have to die with a bullet to the head. Mech look unstoppable. Okay, spotted by the recon. Good enough for BBL. And actually, they be play explosively directly onto the back side of the... B position, Red Guard, Defo are good enough to hold their ground though. Unable to get them one by one. BBL are in trouble. Their hopes lie solely onto Para, but it's a short-lived hope. No clue. And that flash drive could be on point as well. Oh, darn it, it's accurate. Para might be giving his team hopes. Rotation starting to move across the walls, the A site, and for good reason. Moving all the way from spawn, but it's going to take a while. And by that time, Pyro might be dead. Another flash, another swing, but Nats plays it safe. Oh, he read him Never like mind. a book. Read him Jump like a book. Jumping up onto the box and gets it done. And now a Viper Spit can be dropped. BBL, you want to come towards the B side? Be our guest. But Kushina, maybe the other caveat in the mix. Might be able to surprise with a side swing here with the operator. But Shaders are waiting for the team. Looking to play together. That's all. This is scary. Gets one. Only that, though. Viper's Pit is no more. Therefore, much less cover to hide from. And Defo, an operator in hand. Not really the weapon you really want. 
especially in a one on three with multiple positions taken. MDLR gets it done, comes in. That's how you want to deal with this. Hunter's Fury be Hunter's Fury though. Who gets the better off who first? Red car jumps above it, but still trades haven't come through. Aslan looking to regress, but Chronicle is unstoppable. You don't want him on any other gun. Nope. Total Force is his home ground. That's what he loves to do. But MDLR has got a good cross position. Para taken down. whack -a -mole back into his hole. And Chronicle and Redgar are left behind. BBR will be able to take the space back. Full control. With so much space gathered. Last Chronicle player. looking his wing past it. Redgar not a chance on the side. Which means Chronicle has a choice to make. And it's one that he will not like too much. That is full back. Retreat. Try and find a kill in the process. Unable to do so. Draws out the Vandal. He's fighting for it. He's looking for more, but he will not be given it. Renewed, or we have to see them win this next round. 9-3 curse likely incoming, and you know what else is incoming? An op, and he threads the needle right between them. Oh, not exactly what you want to do here, but definitely this time around gets it done. Oh, Kushina not swinging out with the right direction on the crosshair and ends up falling. And BBL now on the back foot. Mech heavily infiltrating this A site. No opportunity given. Guiding Light just gets everyone down, covering their eyes. And it's all down to Turco. Won't be able to do too much. Oh, never mind. He might do. Snake by at his feet. Has to take the fight and is not able to do so. Nine to three. Mech get it done, at least at the final mark. No. Mech actually doing this straight out of the bat, though. Oh, might have been able to escape by. Has it been spotted? I think no. barely. Aslan might have noticed it. No. Oh, the dink comes back, but Aslan has got his teammates back. Mech have lost two. One of deep men also. Power up. Fragment could be dropped, but it's still alive. That's the important part. 22 points of health. Aslan. Oh, he's healing himself. That is one way to get things started off on this defensive side. But they want more of it. Wouldn't mind if he got the... Headshot there through the wall. Yep. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but what's done is starting. Only one player dropping from BBL as they get the pistol win. Hello. All right, let's see. Aslan, wary of it. Oh, Chronicle, though. Never going to miss that, is he? Full infiltration of the back lines. And now the decision is there to make Para. I need to be wary of it. Defo once again. And Mech might be able to make it happen with the Sheriffs. BBL have shown us they can do it on Fracture, but maybe it's Mech's turn. Out into the open, multiple swings, but it's Turco to find two, at least evening the playing field. MDLL has to care for so many positions, but can't get the timing right. Redka, beautiful shot in the ear of MDLL. And now it's all down to Kushina, and he's the only one without a weapon. He's the only one that hasn't found Inspector, but it, it might not matter. Ghost in. Draws it down to one and two, and this could be doable. Oh, but he's the free fire. Red card down, but Defo sees easy the opportunity to swing. Let's see if that A site open. And Mech didn't really need to contend with it. Not many much utility used, not any players left. Para taking down, but at least he gets one in the process. A site under the control of Mech, but what's interesting is Nats pushing mid. Red card finds a good crossfire setup. But Nets has yet to join the fray, and that is what will complicate things. He's the player to highlight here. The rest of them will get challenged from main, but as soon as the spike gets touched, that's when the pressure is mounted. Nats can't wait too long. It's already the fuse halfway. Hunter Suri will be used right at the start. That's a delay, but this is Nats coming in. The sneaky man he is. Chronicle gets it done. You might not even need Nats, but he's there for the guarantee. Map point, serious point. It's here for Mech. What they're going to do, and oh no. I think they've just rung around the Rosie against each other and they have no idea. Aslan knows. This is perfect. Oh. Oh no, and Turco falls towards the backside. No. Oh, Kushina says hello though. And he's got reinforcements. Guardian taking the job. Aslan gets it done. And now BBL are on top though. Spike can be recovered, but Chronicle falls, which means Shados. Our drone hasn't spotted Defo. That could be their downfall. Beautifully done. And you've opened up the map just like that. You have to spread them out even further. Breeze is such a wide one. One gap in this defense lineup could be everything more of the timing. That is so unlucky. And Make will seize the opportunity. Nats' position is somewhat telegraphed. Kushina finds a side angle and takes down the Viper's pit as well. But is it good enough? Aslan also wants to chime oh. in. Aslan might be coming alive when it's most required. Shados says no, though. And Kushina on the spike. 
Can he read Chronicle's position so far off? Now he knows. But he needs these kills. He needs to be given the opportunity. Will he be defusing it halfway? He's being played with. Chronicle bullets into the head. And that is Met closing out the series in a 13-5 session over on Breeze.